out. And three, two, one, pop. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Yuck! if you. Good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? Order of the Stone, let's get some treasure. Treasure! So much for treasure. This cupboard is bare. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Fan out and search the place. These channels lead to the center of the room. They look like they're designed to let lava flow from those channels in the wall. Why would you want to do that? These channels of lava are blocked by sticky pistons. If I were to unblock them... Hmm... Ah, my old friend, the lever. Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. So, how are you feeling lately? Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read, like, a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switchballing stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. That does me no good. Again.
getting somewhere. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We've packed a lot in since then. And to think... That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's what did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Warrior whip, go! Come on, Jesse, make it good. Just... You guys, that was amazing! Okay, okay. It wasn't bad. Get you out of here! 
I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot, though. <laughs> Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Shut up, you idiot. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you... Ocelot doing here anyway. The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm... No. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Some hero you are, Jesse. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous, isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep! Yeah. New Order of the Stone is back in town! It looks freaking awesome!
actually hurt a little bit. Wow. That wasn't a happy to see a scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you! It's a fire hazard! Your face is an ugly hazard. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house. And also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more. <laughs> You're welcome. Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... they've got... Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha uh, ha! Uh, haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? We just got back from that temple you told us about. The one in the jungle? What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right, what he said. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. 
Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... So, how'd you know where it was? Endless research into the cracks in reality. The artifacts that shape and bend the rules as we know them. Uh, what? That glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? Wow, I didn't know there was a time before the Order of the Stone. It's incredible, isn't it? I haven't even gotten to the best part! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. The Ever... what now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope. You're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Oh, come on. He's super funny and he makes me laugh. I guess... These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. Huh, doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So, you think this Eversource thing is up here? 
Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Well, that seems promising. Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you could understand, Aiden. Give it back. Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. what trouble they'll cause. Yeah, we're going, because I'm going to get that Eversource first. Come on. Uh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Don't worry. I've got you. <laughs> Oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am. Uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you. Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing. Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal, the Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it! That's where it must be, the Eversource. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building. 
I... You... I... I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh... uh you don't know? You, you... 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 You were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... This makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, I... I... Well, uh... That's the law? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. We had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez. First those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait. Come I'm back. super busy. Sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Yes. Clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it... He won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We just need to find the inn that nervous guy mentioned. How hard could it be? No idea. But it's definitely our best bet so far. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. This is a long line just to use a crafting table. You're telling me I'm so hungry I could practically eat my wheat right here. But I won't. I'll be patient and turn it into delicious bread instead. What, uh, what can I do for you? I heard you guys have an inn somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, uh, Milo's place? That guy's hilarious. He's over that way. Milo, huh? Thanks. No problem. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it. You can stop writing now. Intense. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, oh, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The founder finally approved my petition. The founder? That's her palace up there. She is the keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. Man, that sounds like a tough way to live life. I suppose. It's the way it's always been, though. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here! Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes, yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. Some 
punks are trying to steal the Eversource. You know anything about it? Stealing the Eversource? <laughs> How outlandish. <laughs> Sounds like dangerous business to get mixed up in, if you ask me. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this is our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? Come on, you can trust me. Nothing bad is gonna happen, just help us. Fine, if it will make you leave me alone. That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh, no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene the builders! Everyone, everyone, please. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? That's sorry, I, I'm going with Milo. Me too. Quick, follow me! Wait, wait, hey, I'm coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Get up! Run! Get up. Get up. Get in here yes there's nowhere to hide in here it's a dead end before I take you to any further you must take an oath I think they went this way you must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you what do you swear that Can't let him get away. Milo I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else fantastic Philippe right this way This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. Wow, this is quite the secret hideout, Milo. Very nice. <clears throat> it is not a hideout. It is a Build Club. You see, one day, a long time ago, 
I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's Dungeons. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Wait, you just dropped some dirt. What was the crime? The crime, Jesse, was the egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. And Ivor, I guess. You said something before about having a plan, a different way into the palace to save our friends? Yes, I did say that. Hey, Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please. Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Guys, don't worry. We're builders just like you. Yeah, Jesse's right. Just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. What? Dude! Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. They say they're builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. I think I know my way around a crafting table better than any of you chumps. Oh, cocky. Let's see if you can back that up. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from... You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. build. Oh, thanks. Build, 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 build. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn. I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. What? <laughs> Getting nervous yet, Milo? <laughs> what? <gasps> we must uh, uh, Jesse! What is that thing? Is it is is it safe? Fear not everyone. The golem is under my control and obeys my every whim. I am so sorry we ever doubted you. Your building is truly magnificent. We all bow to you. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the Founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the Founder leaves guards at every door, but... There's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. 
It's an almost perfect point of entry. But it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Okay, so we'll just climb up. That doesn't seem too hard. You have not seen this wall. We have tried, but it is sheer steel blocks. No handholds. Means you guys need to start thinking like builders out there. We're gonna make a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Jesse, we will never forget this day. Okay, my friends. This should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the Founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Hey, would you keep it down, Milo? We're sneaking in, remember? Sneaking. Right, right, right. My apologies. I'm just so excited. Actually, out in the field, applying ladders to a wall! I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Whoa. Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. So glad you two were okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide! We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? Oh, right. Milo, Lucas. Lucas, Milo. Milo, Ivor, Ivor, Milo. He's a new friend. I am charmed. Yeah, yeah. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! What would Olivia say right now? Probably something like, Jesse, it looks like it doesn't have any power. of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? 
The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. Wow, it's so big. The nothingness, I mean. Lava and water, placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! That is ingenious! Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Looks like the perfect spot for a lever. Source, here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs. The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot. A sheep? Is. Is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah! I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Source is a chicken? What? Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! 
But that clucking thing is what we came for. Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure. I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. Hey, get your... <laughs> Says the trespassing criminal. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe that! Are you kidding me? You'll just want it for yourself! You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Reaper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the founder! Oh, you got me, Lucas? Crap, you're down here too? Lucas, you made it! Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm. Got me pretty good. Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't try to help you up there. I only had a few seconds, everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh, <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the Founder. Uh, speaking of whom... Is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. Well, land is going to be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's going to change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What 
What do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> you can bring all your people down here. They, they won't have to, to petition for resources or any of that stuff anymore. I, I suppose you're right. Yes, we have to go back up and tell them. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Not a good sign. Definitely a bad sign. Your city's probably in big trouble right now. I can't believe Aang could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me East. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I... I think so. I, uh... I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. It got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up. Try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there, trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save 
My people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. You are very quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge! Hey, quick version, you know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. <coughs> Reggie, you're delusional, Aiden. The people of Sky City will never bow to you. You killed the founder. Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you. Aiden, you've lost. I saw you fall. You went down. You're alive. You're alive. Is the founder with you? Ah! What the? Reginald. Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! Just you and me, Aiden. Just you and me now. Just... die already! Should've left while you had the chance! That's insane! Why couldn't you have left well enough alone? can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win! Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you, it's over, give up! No! You don't get to tell me that!
wait, wait, wait! Hang on! Hang on! I... I... I surrender! I surrender! We can talk about this, right? Here! Here! You want your flint and steel back, huh? Take it! It's yours! Just, please, don't hurt me! You did it! Jesse, we need to get out of here! What do you want to do with him? Please! This place is getting worse by the minute! You can't just leave me here! Take me with you! After everything you've done, I'm not sure you deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 no! Come on! You can't just leave me behind! If you leave me here, I'll die! You enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can go do whatever you want. Uh, 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 I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, cards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Yeah, I feel a little bad. They just got in over their heads. Way over. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. 
It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Just relax a minute, okay? Relax? Relax? My people are in more danger than they ever have been, and you want me to relax! No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! Well, what do we do? Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Try and play nice with Milo, okay? I know he's a little crazy and you don't always get along, but he really does care about the people. Yes, I'm starting to see that, and I will do my best. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh, just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Oh, that's right, in the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot, when I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? The sides continue to be adorable, of course, <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversource. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs. You know. Oh. Yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you. One portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> oh, livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys, let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia here when we fed. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.